very good afternoon uh, YouTube this is Ebsha from SNS Lofts uh, today I'm uh, here at my dear friend uh, Davy Warner's uh, place his loft and uh, thank you uh, Davy for having me today no, it's I been a pleasure it. yeah Mrs uh, Warner as well and uh, thank you for the lovely cup of tea uh, right so we're gonna Davy's gonna actually show us around uh, his uh, beautiful loft uh, uh, before we go in there something I would like to say is that look uh, this space is very well managed. You will see it yourself. You will see it yourself. So we follow the man himself. And uh, oh, the droppers. There we go. Well, That's a famous shed. One, 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 one of the important parts of uh, the fly in the drop loft. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, the droppers fly about the garden, peck around the garden. The tipplers don't. So I keep, the, I keep the droppers in a separate loft, you know. Because you don't know if you can pick anything up. I mean, any, anything can pick anything, like mm. your disease up. Yeah. There's more chance of your drop is picking something up when they're walking about on the ground where the wild birds are. Yeah. So they, they are, they're always kept in a separate loft. Always. Mm. That's the reason for it. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, the manage. I'll just throw this up, so. Yeah, no problem. That's probably part of my mess. <laughs> your mess. <laughs> right, so that's the flying section. Yeah, well these are the flying flying boxes. Uh but all filled at the moment, but hopefully they will be. Mm -hmm. uh, these boxes have a grid floor. Right. Pull out drawer for cleaning. Mm -hmm. And they'll drop down front. And the front of the box acts as a Arresting for the yeah for your for your yeah, feeders, for drinkers, etc. Yeah. Very easy to manage. Mm. Easy to clean. But I do it as often as I should, but you know. And these are currently I mean these, these are all settled, aren't they? These these birds. These are all settled there. Well this 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 is an old cock. Right. He's, uh, he's, he'll be 19 next year. He's is that the one you stepped on? Yeah, I stepped on him as a young bird. But is I, it, yeah, here, he was it? such a good flyer before I stood on him. Here we go. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to kill him, but no. I, bred, I bred from this cock for about 16 years. Right. Let's uh, get him out. Well, 15 years, because right. he was when I started. Mm. And I bred some fantastic good flyers from him, you know? Yeah. Mm. So it was a little bit pity on my part because it was me that stood on him. It worked out well, you know. Uh, this wing drags all the time. Right, so ah, gets, okay. Gets mucked up. Yeah. That's the broken wing. But he, he's absolutely beautiful. He is, man, isn't he? You know? he's beautiful. Thinking he's, he's 18 year old. I mean, he hasn't bred since he was 16, but I've bred some fantastic little flies from this bird. Yeah. And uh, Fiesta's got his brother, a 20 year old. Fiesta's got his brother, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he's feeling egg, one egg at least. Uh, well, I, I tried him for, well, neither, no, well this, this bird stopped breeding when he was 16, the brother stopped breeding when he was 17. Mm. Uh, I didn't breed anything from him, so uh, he might have gotten lucky, different loft. Mm. You just never know, you never yeah. know. Hospitality, Mr. Khan's hospitality. Ah, uh, must be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So you've got uh, 5, 10, 15. Well, 15, but I've also got not yeah. a lot. Right, and these are your. There's seven in there, they settle up. Beautiful. Right. And they're, they're not settled, are they, these? Oh, yeah, they're settled. Are these are unsettled. They're, they're, they're not, they haven't been flying any hours. No. They're being up, round with the droppers and down. Right. Oh, that's. Yes, oh, checkers, sorry. Ah, uh, the checker, yeah. That came out of the blocks, I bred the checker out of the blocks. Yeah. Um, I bred one right. every now and again, every few years, you know. Mm. Uh, just a broken spread. Yeah. I like that one, actually. Yeah, good. And the ones at the bottom, same thing again? Yeah, a couple of blocks I've kept for breeding. Uh, right. One blue. Right. Which I flew on. Mm. Being out, flew on. But uh, I need a couple of myself for breeding. Mm. Uh, and there's a couple of pilots in there. Right. And you bred them yourself, right? The yes. Pilots. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. I have one pair there. Mm. And one cock, two hens. Right. Um, 
And we're gonna go here to your. We, yeah, we can go to the back or we can go yeah, to the. Yeah. Just yeah. Loft out the back there. Yeah. Oh, that, and this is what you were busy making the. Yeah, I did yeah, this last year sort of. basically just to keep the spare cocks in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not the spare cocks, you keep the breeding cocks over the window. Yeah. Oh, I love that, I like that. I uh, love that, Madge. Last year I decided I would uh, play a few cages and just to breed a few. Right. Big peregrine problem, I've got a few extra birds. But, mm. uh, yeah, that's one of Tommy's. Yeah, he's loving. Well, he flew 17 hours as a young bird when I dropped them. Uh, the peregrine hit them on 16 hours. Mm. This cock of Tommy's here and this blue cock flew on 17 hours. Uh, the other one was put down by the peregrine on 16, just over 16 mm. hours. But these, uh, I mean, this cock's flown over 19 hours a number of times. This cock's the one I flew. 1940, right. 1937. Here's the 19 4, 19 6. There's a lot of uh, a lot of hours in them. Right. <laughs> no, there is. It's, it's that's beautiful. They're beautiful. I just love it. Love that uh, badge. It's absolutely stunning, just, isn't it? Yeah, he's stunning. Yeah. He's yeah. absolutely stunning. Yeah, credit to yo. Know, you've read it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, credit to both of you, yeah, uh, well, Mr. Warren and Mr. Dilts. Yeah. I've a pair of Toms, which I don't, I don't know. Them. And uh, Tom took the pair back. Mm. And the intention was to carry on flying him, but he, he was hit by, I'm not sure where he was hit by, right. probably not a sparrowhawk. Right. But it's damaged his wing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Left wing. Yeah. All right. So, uh, that was an end of that. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. See again, guys, look, the space, the, the use of the space, very cleverly, cleverly laid out. Yeah, it's a little bit tight out there. It, it, it is, it is, but it's still, look, for what it is, it is it it, abundance of space. Yeah, it does want to It is abundance of space. And usually when I do, I breed them. Yeah. I transfer the young birds to these cages. Yeah. For settling. Right. Weaning and settling. Once yeah, the weaning is settled, we'll move into the boxes, you know. And off we go to the boxes. Brilliant. So and then they are there, from here. There, 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 then out from And then out the from here. Oh, they're enjoying it. Could you tell us about these birds as well, please? Well, these are Gary Watson's pilots. Excellent. <laughs> these are uh, three cocks from Gary's, which uh, you were going to take your pick from. Yes, I will indeed. Yeah, indeed. and uh, the, the hens is inside this box yeah, here. Box. That's why I hence referred it to my mess earlier. Yeah, then. <laughs> Once you pick out what you want, uh, I'll, yeah. take what, I'll take the rest back to Gary's, I'll take whatever you leave back down to Gary. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, shall we go and have a, just a, uh, about your, uh, just a look at the breeding, the magic, where the magic happens? Well, they, these are just about finished breeding now. Yeah. There's a couple of odd ones. There's, uh, right. there's a, couple of, a couple of pairs with young birds and right. the rest. The rest are finished with. She's a nice thing. She's off that. She she's off that broken wing cock. That that nineteen year old, eighteen year old. Yeah. The one you stepped on. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. There's a two or three other in here which I did go. Yeah. Um. I just, I just, I needed a cross for the black, so I thought I'd try these. You try these. How did they go? Then? They're not exactly what I want. Uh, right. They're not a really, you know, like a, a, as good a match as I. As right. I mean. So uh, I tried not field with them. Mm. There's a red hen which was bred by Paul Green. Yeah. And a pair of them black cock also were bred by Paul. Right. And uh, I tried flying them. I lost one or two. And I settled right. a couple. Of them. Is that one of Gary's? A cock bird, eh? No. No. Uh, Where is that going? That's it, yeah. Right. What's the, what, what is the ring number saying on it? Yeah. The ring number, well, it's an 11 bird, 41, 43. Okay. You want to hold on to it? Okay. Oops, sorry, I don't know. No, no, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, so that's 2011. 
Yeah. Right. So. Am I going to get that in October? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Where's the pier you said that was on chicks or eggs? Uh, is that the older, the, the older pier you got? Of the pilots. Pilots. Yeah, it's a different yeah. hen. Same yeah. cock. Yeah. Uh, which, which one is is that the the one you offered to me? Which one was it? That is that the hen? That's the hen. Right, and she's. Did you ever, did that, did, was that two thousand six? No, no, no. I don't pair. I don't pair that hen earlier in the year when I bred these. Right, and right, right. I've right. only got one cock. Two hens. Ah, right. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, the hen they bred for me is. So which is the pair that you offered offered me, uh, Kurt Wall? That's the hen there. That's the hen? Yeah. And th this is, you bred this out here, or? No, no, she's a, she's a 2006 bird. Oh, that's from Gary's? Bred up with Gary's, yeah. Right, 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 right. And you've only got one cock, you said, isn't you? One cock, two hens. Yeah. <laughs> there lies the problem. Right, fair enough. Which is why I split them, you know. Right, so you've got your section is more or less. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so breeding cages, space yeah. at the top which needs stripping out and down yeah. and putting in because that just catches all the dust. Yeah. And all the disturbers at the moment. And I'll get to one at the end of the breeding season. Right. Brilliant, brilliant. We made it off for about the last four years. <laughs> no, it's, it's just like I said, it's, 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 a, job it's, you, it's a job you forget. You sort it of is, it's it's really yeah. well done. It it's is really, really it's well done. You forget. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a couple of cages here I can use if I need. If I need. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a the front there, just two cages, but more often than not, I stick me. I mean, that's what's standing at the moment in the front one, only because I brought the birds over for you last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put them in there. But normally they, that's open and all, my vacuum cleaner and all me is out the way, you know. Mm. Because the ones I got, the uh, uh, one from uh, Fiesta, it's the cockbird you gave, and then yeah. uh, the other out uh, from a uh, uh, cockbird yeah. Rajad, uh, from Raj's uh, one well, here the from Raj. The cockbird from Fiesta that you got yeah. will be off that same pair. That same pair, wouldn't it? Same pair. Yeah. Now I've got his offspring. Oh, I've got a soft spot. Yeah, 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 I've got yeah, a yeah. still got yeah, that. Still got the, that. The, bird, the bird that um, Facey got from me yeah. was from the same Same, same cock, yeah, 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 yeah. Too, yeah. But same that's, hen. yeah, with uh, Rita Hen. That's, uh, that was Rita's hen. Oh, so he's put that cock from cock me. To, yeah, 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 Rita yeah. Hen, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've yeah. got that. Well, they're the same, I mean. Yeah, yeah. They're the good pilots, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. The only problem with the pilots are they're very inbred. Uh, yeah. Even when they first came up here, there wasn't any detail breed when it was brought with them. No. You know? So but the, I don't think they've been up here probably over 30 years, and I've never ever known anyone fly a kit of pures. Flown the odd bird, mixed them mm. with other birds, but never flown a kit of pure birds, pure, mm. pure pilots. But then I went down to George's. Early 80s, early to mid 80s, mm. and George Pilot himself was having trouble settling. Yeah. The yeah. year I went down, he'd only settled one bird himself, yeah. one young bird that year. I went to see him the following year. In fact, uh, that year I took him two hens down. That was one with the uh, mother and daughter. Mother and daughter. But they were used pigeons. Yeah. Because he. I was did, with the uh, uh, ring, uh, Gordon's ring on, wasn't it? Yeah, the mother had Gordon's ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His daughter had my ring. Yeah. Uh, I took them down to him because he needed a cross himself. Mm. In, uh, George had get a, a Gordon Hughes cock. Mm. When he checked with Gordon Hughes what hen to put this cock to, this was the hen, the hen I had that yep. he needed to put it to. So I took him that hen, I took him the daughter. And when I went down, he'd only bred one year, uh, one young bird. He's only sorry, settled one young bird that year. I popped in to see George on the long deer fly the following year. He was flying that one blue young bird which he settled in two greers which he got from Jeff Howard. So George was having trouble himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt about it. No, definitely. I mean, I, uh, you know, because uh, I had, uh, uh, you know, even mentioned it to Tony uh, as well. And he, he's he's basically come back with, a, you know, the two of the lads we mentioned, Peggy and uh, what's his name, Reynolds. Yeah, there's more than them. Uh, yeah. Gary Myerson got birds as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They went out, yeah. yeah, there's about four of them all together. Yeah. Before lads got birds, you know. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. And then obviously, uh, Perry uh, uh, got them off. Uh, 
And what was the guy's uh, plan? Bristol was it? Packs up. I think it was Roy Hardwell. Hardwell. I'm yeah. 100%. I think yeah. it was Roy Hardwell. They were they were George's peers as well, weren't they? When he packed up. George, yeah, yeah, pilots, yeah, they were yeah. the pilots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. So, I mean, what do you think of the Hughes and uh, pilot crosses? Fly great. I've tried them. I've yeah. crossed them. I've actually yeah. crossed them. John Crosley's crossed them and flown them. Yeah, fly great. But where do you go from there? You know. This is it. I mean, you don't want to start breeding pilots, isn't you? No, you like, yeah. From your years. No, you can't do that, can you? Yeah, uh, because you you end up ruining them. You know, the, the pilots have a lot of. Uh, a lot of problems as they get older and not really old, they tend to have a drop back and mm. drop wings and uh, not all of them but a lot of them do you know and it's not something you want to really put into your birds. Mm. Uh, the pilots could do with a bit of an infusion mind of yours and they're not going to do them any more. <laughs> I was going I'm going I mean like uh, I was fortunate enough to get birds uh, given to me by Harry you know, yourself yeah. you know and then obviously now Gary Watson uh, you know, and obviously not forgetting uh, another uh, great gentleman, uh, Tony Goffey. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm basically narrowing it down, and I will rid of, uh, get rid of the most probably the Pakistani high flyers I've got yeah. to make room, and I'm just going to concentrate on these four. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate uh, to acquire these, especially. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, look, these these have come from great tiplemen and a good tiplemen. So well, I don't think the Pakistani high flyers are bred to fly in this climate. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not at all. On the same vein, I don't think tipplers are bred to fly. fly there. Yeah, they're a lot. Of, they're a lot of eager people trying to get hold of you, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, they were developed to fly in a moderate climate, you know. Mm. Uh, they might fly in a hot climate, uh, but it'll probably take a couple of generations or two to sure. acclimatise them yeah. and pick the best from them. But you'd be literally yeah. starting from scratch, you know. Sure. The town side formed in 1978. Right. With four members. Yeah. Then I went up to where. Uh, any uh, any names we know? Okay, currently. Sir Lewison, George Lazary, Barney Alston. Oh, Barney. Barney was in 78, he was a founding member. Yeah. And in 79, uh, was the same guys were in, uh, Barney had left. Yeah. And uh, Alan Barker's dad. Hmm. Uh, people know Alan Barker. Um, uh, George Barker, he joined along with, along with a couple of other guys in Kenny Childs. Right. Out in Kenton, which is where my blacks came from. Right, right, right. And and that's Newcastle, right? Yeah. Okay. And in 1980, uh, they were back down to six, which is when I joined them. Right. In 81, there was a few other guys joined. I took over as secretary in 81. Mm hmm. And uh, the membership went up to uh, three, four, five, six, up to thirteen. Uh, we had Kevin Patterson, uh, Graveson. Graveson is the guy I got my blues from, my use pigeons from. Right. Okay. He got them. He got these birds in nineteen sixty six. And when did you get them? He, pardon? When did you got? When did you get the uh, hues from him? When did I get them? Yes, late sixties or. Well, he got them in the 1960s. No, I didn't get them in the 60s. I didn't get them from like, like in the late 70s. Oh, right, okay. When I first uh, met these lads. Yeah. In the 82, the membership went up again, just a few more. Uh, and we had Dave Sutherland joining. Right. Ken Charles to be in George Lazary, etc. Dave kept, so what, did he have uh, plesters? Dave Sutherland flew for uh, Plesters, but he got the Plesters in the mid-80s. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah. From, directly from Eddie, once you've met Eddie, you had yeah. the Plesters, and he was flying the Plester pigeons, but he flew mm. them pure. And in 83, we went up there, uh, we had Tony V to join. Kevin yeah, Patterson. Tony was saying 82, I think he got the year wrong. Yeah, he must have it wrong, so yeah, it's yeah, 83. Yeah, yeah. Because he's... 82, he wasn't... It was Peggy and Reynolds. He's, he, he, we were saying that uh, they 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 went over to George George Pilots and then yeah, they've that, got that the birds. That was later in the eighties. That that was later in the eighties. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, by eighty three, we were up there, we were twenty odd members. Right. You know, Jimmy Brooks in, George Brown, Colin Robinson, Dave Sutherland. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of him. Um, you know, Gary Carr. Yeah, and uh, Ken Charles, uh, 84, went up again, 
few more milliners and it sort of carried on like that right through the 80s. Uh, in 80, at the end of 84, 85, there was a bit of a splinter and some right. groups started in Sunderland. Mm -hmm. So the members went down again. Uh, George Lee was a member in 1985. Mm -hmm. uh, there was several, and then Dave Burtonshaw joined. I think Dave joined in 84, the first right. time he, he joined. I'll, I'll check that out. Not 100%. Um, 83. Dear, first joined in 83 through 84, 85. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was, a, there was a decrease, a couple of people packed in with them. 86. Uh, and Dave Burnshaw took over as secretary. And I wasn't given like a list of the ring numbers for whatever reason. Right. And in the nineties, it tailed off. Uh, I stopped flying them sometime in the nineties. Right. Order work. Uh, I was working. Yeah, you mentioned seven yeah, years yeah, away, yeah, 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 yeah. So I left, and I rejoined as the social technical, you know. Right. Right. So we were still with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I was. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Gary, Gary Watson. Gary was in there uh, most of the way through it, you know. He was all the way through with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because that's, I think, so, because... Well, Gary's been a member of the Sunsworth Club since it was formed. Right, right. And you, you guys went to school together, you, me, no, Gary? No, 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 Gary's a lot younger than me. Oh, he's a lot younger? Yeah. Oh. Um, I've known Gary since he was sort of school age, you know. Okay, 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 um, okay. So you and Vita went to school together? No, 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 he's a lot younger than me as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> you find, okay. find most of them are. <laughs> oh, right, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, he's caravaning because he sent me a text and he said, uh, I mentioned about today that I'm going to be over. And uh, he said, I'm not about. Who's that? Tony. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, he said, I'm not about, so, yeah. So, yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to bring your best mate along with me. Yeah, well, he's not, <laughs> he's he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not my mate anymore. <laughs> uh, not, since, not since he joined the school, the oh. school yard. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it'd, be, it'd be nice to see, like, uh, go over to Gary's as well, uh, but obviously he's working. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's one of those things, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's a weak deal, so most people are out. It is. No, it's nice of him just to like, you know, just to uh, sort the birds out. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, uh, what got you into tipplers, mate? Oh God, long time ago. It's getting on old. Yeah. Fifty odd years ago. Sure. Uh, my grandfather, uncles kept racing pigeons. Right. Okay. So I got involved in pigeons. Mm. Sort of junior school. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to collect the pigeons. Um, where I lived, there was a lot of uh, what, what we call like old houses, like bombed out houses, derelict houses, and we used to wait around in the lofts, old factories, anything. Mm. Any, any pigeon, any pigeon we'll ring on, a coloured pigeon, any adornments, any little muffs, or we mm. kept. But uh, I always liked the tipplers, I just kept the tipplers. If we've got any tipplers, I love them, you know. Just back then, they were all coloured. Right, yeah. Splashed birds, models, blacks, reds, silvers, grizzles, you know, prints. Like the old mm. mackerels, what they call the mackerels. Yeah, yeah. Types. Uh, I just started from there, you know. Loved them. <laughs> still, and you never look back. Still love them. <laughs> yeah. And I know this might be a bit of a touchy subject, but... Uh, so that, that shirt and that hairdo episode, I love that. I love that picture of yours. When you got the badge and one of the... Was it the doves or the fantails? Oh, the fantail, yeah. I love the shit. Yeah. I love it, honestly. I put the picture up the other day as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was taken there. Uh, oh. 70, 77, 76, something like that? No, no, long before then, about 73. 73. 72, right. 73, that was taken. Well, we've still got full head of here anyway, so I'm, you know, so you've done better than I have, so. Oh, I know, I borrowed this from the camp then. <laughs> <laughs> I actually we saw him the other day. Uh, he's uh, one of the lads put a video of him, a recent oh, video yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah still. Oh, still I saw thing. that. That was uh, Gian. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely. Ah, he's a nice lad, mate. He's a good bro, you know. Mm. I think I think he's probably flown more big times with tipplers than anyone. Anyone. Ever. Thirty-nine or so, I think, according yeah. to yeah, yeah, something like that. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, he's worked hard with those Bowdens, hasn't he? He's really has. And he's the one who's actually got some time out of them. Well, I went to visit him one time, uh, not wasn't too long ago. Right. And what he knows about boarding pigeons, I mean, just, uh, he just if you need to know anything about boarding pigeons, he, he's the guy that uh, mm. he knows everything about them, you know. So what's your, uh, the best times you've actually done, some uh, recorded times you've done? Right, ooh, let's just have a look around, oh dear, alright, okay. 1940. 1940, let's zoom into that. Right. Not, not great skills I've got with this camera by the way. Yeah. I noticed. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, love you too, Dave. <laughs> But I've won the trophies, that's my favourite, this one here. Yeah? That goes back to... No, I don't know. 80s. The early 80s. 1984. 1984. the first time in competition over here, then I was. Wow. And you, that, that's always been with Hughes, right? Yeah. yeah. Always with Hughes. Brilliant, brilliant. These uh, are NTU trophies for various things. Right. Uh, these are all England tip the Union trophies. Yeah. I was five first last year. Yeah. Uh, Peregrine left us alone. Once yeah, five, yeah, 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 yeah. Five first places and I got the overall aggregate. Mm. But most of the, I mean, obviously you can't keep everything you win. Yeah. So most of the stuff's in the loft. Uh, these trophies were won in the, um, it was the North East Tipler Federation, which, ah. we, which we flew in in the, in the 1980s. Uh, right. I'm not sure when that was, I think that was uh, oh, 1990, started mm -hmm. off late 80s to 1990s, but didn't last there a great, great time. That was, um, I think it was a young bird fly, mm. 15. I said, that picture I put on when I put my trophies on the table, otherwise that weren't broken. <laughs> so, um, so, I mean, uh, in terms of, like, uh, now we've seen your trophies and whatnot, and uh, excellent, it's an achievement. I mean, to me, it's a life, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, it's a hobby, but it, it, it's a lifelong effort. And it just doesn't come without its, uh, you know, it, without its demands and, uh, you know, hardships, uh, you know. Uh, I mean... I, I, I don't think it's a hardship when you enjoy doing what you do. Uh, it's true, 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 true. You got to. I mean, I, you know, I, I, mean, I may have to rephrase that. So, what about in terms of the legacy, uh, the Warren uh, legacy being passed on? Well, to who? Right. You know, the only people, other people who fly my birds because uh, my me, me son, my me son has, doesn't have an interest in birds. I'm not of mm. young people, you know. I think, yeah. the, I think the whole tip of legacy is in jeopardy at the moment. Yes, it it is. It is. It's. Uh, I mean, I was speaking to Bobby, Bobby Gunsafe, and yeah. uh, you know, we've, and it, it is a con, con, uh, quite. It's a concern to be quite honest with you, uh, but uh, he, you know, I mean, uh, many many fans, and uh, uh, he's he's actually done. He's doing a lot yeah. for the. Uh, uh, for the sport itself in Ireland. Well, Manny Fenton always has done. You, you know, know that he's, yeah. he's, he's definitely... He's always, always been a good guy for promoting the sport. Absolutely. And uh, that's the, that was the opinion uh, I, I heard. Not, and the actual fact as well. And it's nice to know. And uh, coming back to England, I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, where I am from in Essex, it's, it's non-existent. Yeah. I do not know. I mean, the, the people keeping pigeons and uh, the people keeping pigeons. So other than in terms of tipler... I, I haven't got anybody flying a serious tipler flyer, you know, or associated or attached to a club. I, I don't have that anywhere near. And I think the closest one I've got... The Waltham store. Probably. It is. Uh, that would be... Um, is that the <laughs> AETU member? Yeah, yeah. He's the nearest one to you, Waltham store. He is he a new, he, new? He actually flew the last competition. Uh, right. I'll have his time sheet. Right. Okay. I'll be filed. I'll have his time sheet filed. Right. Uh, he flew the last competition time then. Right. Well, he didn't time, and I think he was put on by a peregrine. Uh, okay. One of his birds down, uh, 125 yards away, so he was out of bounds. Okay. 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 And was that? Was he flying on the honor system? No, no, I flew official. Okay. Excellent. Was it? Uh, 
I'd have to check his time sheet to be honest. Uh, yeah. so, but I think um, he might have been on the honour system because he was asking me to find a referee. But I, I could have referee him. These days, as first as possible. Yeah, I, I, I'm, on, I'm about three or four miles away from him. Yeah, but you, you were heading up to Yorkshire, weren't you? Oh, that's true. <laughs> 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 I did, did, did. Yeah, I was trying to do everything. I was trying to do everything. Right. So, uh, you know, just uh, now. In terms of a uh, lot, lot of people, there's a lot of material out there, Dave, about uh, feed ups and how to feed your bird and about training the birds. Uh, you know, I mean, would you care to share a bit about what you do or what over the years you've kind of uh, narrowed down your way of or your method of actually well, the, conditioning and flying them? There's as many methods and feed ups as these tip of flyers. Absolutely. Because you've got a basic trick, you train the birds to respond to droppers. The bird will fly because you show the drawer. That's basically what you do. Once the birds are flying, the feeds vary. Everyone has their own ideas. Years ago, I would be giving them half a teaspoon of this, a pinch of that, and now I'm just working by commercial canary conditioner for the feed up. An energy corn, beer's energy corn, for example, to start the feed up. And I feed them on depurative. Mm. Um, Years ago it was a pinch of this and a pinch of that and bacon wood cakes in the oven and but it was a, these days my personal opinion is tip of flying hasn't advanced very much since the nineteen thirties or even earlier. Because we have so much more information on nutrition, we have so much more medication. Everything's upgraded, but the times haven't upgraded that much. You get the occasional blip in the uh, system where, well, like Harry Shannon's fantastic yeah. world record, mm -hmm. but they're very few and far between. And you would expect, with the, uh, the progress that's been made in nutrition and medication, electric lighting to drop them, etc., you think the times would have soared, but they haven't. They don't, they don't seem to have kept pace with. Else, you know? No, they they haven't. They certainly haven't, yeah. and especially our our well, friends. Well, when you when you think it was what the sixties when mm. the first twenty hours was flown, mm -hmm. Wolf love it. Mm -hmm. And twenty hours now we still look on like a massive achievement, massive achievement. Nearly sixty years later, you know. Yeah, it is. It is. And when you think of like or, or everything you've had in nutrition. Medication, as I've said, I've repaid myself, but all of this should really have boosted the times, but it doesn't seem to have been doing it. No, 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 not at all. And the other other, other factor, obviously, is that uh, uh, the bird of prey. You oh, know, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's that more. It's, it's a contributing factor. That's 20, uh, 20 years or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a big contributing factor yeah. in the last 20 years. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to get a kid trained to that standard. True, true, true. I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, Bristol at one time had probably a couple of hundred tip of flies. Now, yes. if anyone flies in Bristol, I can't, I, I can't recall. The Midlands had it. Again, you, you were looking hundreds and now you're looking in tens. Yeah. But people who actually fly competition, you're probably looking at single figures. Handful, handful, absolutely. Yeah, single figures. Yeah. In all of the UK, for the last June birth, for example, I think we had something like 12 or 13 entries. Mm hmm. Uh, the NTU had a few more, but if you took Northern Ireland yeah. out of it, actually in England, if you took out England and not Northern Ireland, you, you don't have a handful of flyers. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's. 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 It's had. It, I mean, it's a. It, you know, it's the numbers have depleted, and like, uh, like you know, we always have a chat over the phone. The last time we spoke about was that it was different. I mean, what are finding what what the, the times which are finding the you know themselves or the flyers that find the current times of 12 13 hours 10 hours back in the day uh 30 years years ago uh, you wouldn't nothing N you wouldn't you wouldn't nothing. you wouldn't even get a look in but back in the day you could train your birds now you struggle to train birds because of the peregrine problem as mm. you've said you know uh, these days, you're not flying your best birds, you're flying what your peregrine leaves you, you know. You're not, you're not flying, you perhaps not. I mean, for example, I'm busy now feeding a kid for this Sunday. Mm. The three birds I did intend to fly were hit by the peregrine on Tuesday, the last train fly. Yeah. One had most of his tail pulled out and the other one got put out. 
So I'm left with one bird from that team to fly. So I'm having to mix that with two birds from another kit. Yeah. Which I'd never flown with that bird before. Yeah. Uh, which is something I would never, I wouldn't have needed to have done. Back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, you would have, yeah, you would have been spoiled for choice, isn't it? Exactly. You would have, right. yeah, yeah. So no, it's absolutely true because where I am, I mean, uh, other, other, uh, apart from other hindrances, uh, or man-made obstacles. Yeah. Uh, I've got the, I've got about three people who keep. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 peregrine or hawks near me because you can tell they've got rings on and they've got all yeah. the bill bells and whistles yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all that stuff and then I've got the uh, if my birds are lucky to get away from them then I've got the wild ones you yeah. know and because I've, I'm not that far off uh, the country park well isn't just that I mean these days the councils mm. They they keep they keep the wild birds, the yeah. wild pigeons from town centres. They're putting spikes up on buildings, yeah, yeah. chases, and they force them out of the city centres into the suburbs. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's a lot more wild pigeons hanging around on uh, housing estates. Yeah. In the suburbs, rather than the inner city, you know, city centres. Yeah, but it is, it is. But then they, they, they never take a flight. I mean, all they do is from a rooftop onto the street. So they never become the uh, 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 the target for uh, for this very reason they've been reintroduced into urban areas and whatnot. The you know the bird of prey, and what's actually happening oh, is yeah, that the birds of prey don't keep, don't keep wild pigeons from city centres. No, 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 they don't. They, don't. they, don't. they always come back and they go for uh, for our, our, our birds, which are easy easy target. Yeah, because the fly the fly and they've got the scope to hunt them. You know? Of course, it's, and plus the other thing is that they they're not random flyers. They always fly in a pattern. Yeah. They've got it, you know. So that's that's easy. It's just it's just you know just uh, pick as you like. McDonald's for, for uh, it is Burger King, McDonald's. <laughs> you name it, you name it. Yeah, pigeon pies, pigeon pies. Right, I'm gonna stop that. In well, it's gonna stop. Mm. Okay, <laughs> and right. So what we're going to uh, we're going through there's some magazine interviews you've you've had. No, this wasn't an interview. It was just a mention from uh, right the guy. This was uh, I think this was a publication in the Czech Republic. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, just 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 noticed that. Ah, oh, oh, well, it was. This is one of the guys from right, so the came over for a visit. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So let's see if I can get a bit of a bit of zoom on that. Maybe I can't. Well, that, I'll leave that. Yeah. Yeah. And that was in two, 2013, 2013? That, that was. Right. 2012. Yeah, and there was an interview as well, wasn't it? You had done yeah. that. Pure, what was it? Pure, pure bread pigeon? Pure bread pigeon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This was in. Right. This was in 2005. I was trying to film Bobby's birds, just come over. Yeah, uh, okay, so look. Oh, a yeah, guy yeah. called Harry Fiskin caught them over. There we go. I was trying to feel with them at the time. And that's your old loft, is it? That was me set up at the t yeah, yeah, at the time it was. Yeah. Beautifully managed though, isn't it? Yeah. Your spaces are well, Obviously I still had my blues then. Uh, yeah. And they, these were just like uh, a try. Just trying these. Right. Nice birds, they flew well, but yeah. uh, I moved on. Oh, that's Bobby's, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. 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 Brilliant, brilliant. So, yeah. This is, you've probably seen this in, in another form on the internet. Oh. <laughs> this is the that, that, that is the, that is the original. Yeah, over there. Printed around late 1800s, late possibly, 1800. possibly 1900. Right. This is history, isn't it? This is oh, it. yes, yeah, definitely, yeah. yes. Uh, would you like to open a page of this? Yes, any of Oh dear. Oh, I should, I should, have, I should have my gloves on for this. Yes, you should, yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't be even here. <laughs> it just tells you about how, how tip the pigeons started, how to breed a tip, yeah. right? Um, how to feed them. Obviously not relevant these days. No. Treatment of tipplers, uh, yeah. description of a pigeon loft, etc. How to breed a, a tipler from tumblers and mm. cumulates, etc. Excellent. Brilliant. Uh, this is. Yeah. 
Sunland District Tipler Club. This has been defunct for about 30 years. <laughs> this was their rule book. Right. Yeah, I think George Lee was a member of this. Mm -hmm. Even even I was too young to join this one. <laughs> <laughs> but they had the one set of rules. They never flew NDU. They just flew amongst themselves, you know. Mm. And that is their rule book. George, uh, did he have Paul's beard or what? Who's this? George Lee. He has now. He did yeah. fly the Plester pilots and yeah. he tried the Plester warden, uh, the pilot warden, hmm. and now I think he has uh, exclusively Paul Bowen's business. Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah. I'm almost sure he has. I was over there a few weeks ago with Fierce and yeah. sure that's what he had. Uh, well, that's a nice looking hand in there, David. No, in there. <laughs> oh, that was Pass of Force. I'll tell you what, that's uh, what it is. It's a perfume. <laughs> that's what it is. And so you, you've got the diploma by uh, Arthur. Yeah, uh, they made it somewhere. Yeah. These are the diplomas on England to the Union. Brilliant. Diplomas. First place, first place. For, like I said, I had a good year last year. <laughs> How did it feel like signing, signing, signing your own diplomas? Well, it's, it feels strange, but... Uh, it's got to be done. It's got to be done, yes. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it is what it is, you know. It is, exactly. Yeah. And uh, like, they, these are MTU diplomas. Right. Um, it's 2009, mm -hmm. that's 4th National, 19 hours 6, 6 yeah. there's a 19 hours 20, mm. there's a 19 hours 40, these are all by, signed by Brian Rose, there's a 19 hours 4, 3rd mm. National, 4th uh, National with 18 hours 37, Section win, 17 hours 3, I mean 1, 2, 3, 5 birds, I think I, was, I won the 5 bird uh, cup in that, mm -hmm. that year. 1647. Uh, 2007. Oh, this is 1982. Whoa. Yeah, oh, 1982. Yeah, that's when. Who's that signed by? Well, that's Arthur Newton, when Mick Captain was the president. 16 hours 53. Yeah, it's uh, Gain off in Newton, yeah. 16 hours 19, 1982. Yeah. That's uh, 95. 15. No. That's a young bird fly. That's that, Brian Rose. That's 2010, isn't it? Yeah, 2010. That's one 2009, that is. Yeah, that's 82. 1642. There's a 1982 one. 14 hours yeah. with a young bird competition. Mm -hmm. 83, young birds again, 14 to 15, 16, it's a, about a good time for these uh, years, yeah. young birds. There's a north section. 2006, that is. 2006. It was a 1511. Mm. When Eddie Plester was the president. President, yeah. Uh, that's a 1990. How many birds is on that one? There you go. <laughs> 13, 29, 1, 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 birds. Mm. Not bad for a big kit. No, not at all. 13, 31. These are just all day. When I was set, I tell you the. And to you. Yeah, it's on side. That's the one with John Cullen and Arthur Newton. Yeah, yeah. 12 hours 58. And yeah, was that dated? I can't see it. I don't know. Um, it's not over here, it doesn't see it. But obviously, it's. Uh, yeah, that has got to be 30, yeah, 30, 30 years because that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Because yeah. 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 Ryan took over. The John Cullen, yeah. Arthur Newton. Yeah, 89, that is, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll be before the 89. No, no, this is 89, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be, yeah. Maybe well, well, yeah, 16, 89. 18. 16, 54. Mm. 12, 29, which are the young birds. <laughs> 16, 12. 
That's yeah. 1983. Yeah. The young bird flew. That's just, 83 is the year that uh, Rita, Tony, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. as a novice, wasn't Turnside, it? Yeah. yeah. The young bird turned into year one. When Paul Bowden was president. Mm, yeah. Again, when Eddie Plaster was president. Mm -hmm, that, yeah. That's 84, that's yeah. Paul. Paul Bowden again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the turn side, I think that's it. That's it. But, um, oh, that's a lot of history. Yeah, that's a lot, lot of history. There's more, there's plenty more. Yeah. There's a four lanes. These when I flew in the uh, Tyne side. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is. Oh, there's a couple of more NTU ones there. Right. Uh, 1989. Hmm. 891. Yeah. But for me, it's more like it shows a continuation, you know. True, true. And it is. And the two cockbirds I've got, uh, they flew what, 19 or 18 hours for you? The ones I had. Uh, I can't remember what the are said, but the one of you, because I mean. Yeah. I had at one stage I had about 18 or 19 birds, I'd probably saw all the 19 hours, yeah, yeah, so I yeah, yeah, the yeah. same period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had about 18 or 19 birds in the loft, yeah. which is all from over 18 hours, 19 yeah, yeah. hours. Uh, all from different pairs, which was great as well. Mm. Some of the like, you know, because they weren't, I wasn't breeding good flying birds just from a limited number of pairs. No, no, absolutely. They were all breeding good flying yeah. birds, you know. And obviously you can't keep them all. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And sometimes can't. you do have birds from the same pairs. Yeah. Uh, which you need to be. So you need to cut down a little bit. Mm. You don't want to be keeping too many birds from the same. No. Ones. Especially not when you've got like a pretty closely related family. You can't afford to do that. No, you can't. No, yeah, you know, definitely. No, I mean, they're lovely birds. They, they, you know, they, they are lovely birds. Well, as you can see, I mean, flying at times, it's, it's all recorded there. Yeah. I see all the thing I like about these is. Right. Which one's that, Dave? Uh, that's what check now. Okay. Is that settled as well? No, no, no. no. no? It hasn't laid out yet. Right. Uh, I was here, so I didn't run it down, maybe around one years now. Right, okay. So I'll have to stay in front of it a bit longer now, down the condition down. Right. right. I've just remembered them recently because that's how it's... Yeah, they just starting, they just, just yeah. go landing. So we like to tell the novice, uh, the beginners, what are you actually doing now? Yes, I'm just working, so they used to drop it on, fly it up and drop it on the top of the loft, chasing corn with the droppers. The droppers is out to get a little bit corn, so get a bit free. So they associate the droppers with the corn being thrown around. Yep. There we go. Bloody hell. Like a bullet, didn't they? So how hungry you keep your droppers then? How hungry I'll show you a second. Mm. I've got them holding pigeons and uh, what else? 
Yeah. Yeah, they came in like a. David has his, uh, had his kits out, both the kits out, one yesterday, one day before. Otherwise, we could have seen some uh, action. There we go, the droppers are going in. Yeah. Yeah. There's the famous but, uh, Mr. Watson, hard man to get hold of. It's not in my nature, but, uh, but not what to smile. Put the beast away. I, I'm, no, no. Too quiet. <laughs> yes. This is all misery got to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the, these are the lofts. Uh, this is Gary's loft here. And this is the hand section here. Droppers here. So I'm going to quickly go into the flying section. As you can see that. And there's some plaster crosses in here. All right. And here too. Yeah, quickly, and these are some pilots here, and obviously uh, the, the ones I'll be getting as well. So there, and this is the cock uh, bird section here. If I quickly get in there and out, and uh, these are the cocks here. If you can have a look, there we go. Then we come in your lot, and there's some lovely birds here. Honestly, honestly, credit to him, credit to him. Look at these absolutely brilliant birds. There we go, there we go, there we go. So the ones we haven't seen Gary Watson's birds, here they are, ladies. Right, here we go, look at that. Okay, excellent, excellent stuff, right? Okay, now quickly, because I'm low on memory here, and I'm gonna go into the hand section here, Gary Watson's loft, Sunderland. All right, and I've got about a bit left, and I wanna make sure I capitalize on this, all right. Here we go. These are the hens. All right, I'm gonna get them into the corner there, guys, for you lot. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, you guys. Come on, come on. So these are plesters as well as pilots. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Okay. Come okay. on. Looks lovely. Right, all credit goes to Gary and Davey for uh, for a lovely day here today, and you guys get to see. You usually don't get to see this, so please do check out my website ssloths.co.uk and not forgetting the YouTube channel as well. So look here, beautiful birds. Right, uh, David, we've uh, almost come to the end of our time here. Thank you very much indeed. That's and fine, before right? we say our goodbyes, uh, very quickly, what's the best advice you can give to people out there, the novice uh, people, who, uh, and, and also the seasoned? Well, for a novice out here, if you're starting off, go to somebody reputable for your birds, go to somebody local or go where you can watch the birds fly and see what the birds are like rather than buying them off the internet or shop with pet shops, you know. Buy verified birds, basically, you know. For seasoned flyers, keep it up, lads. It'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. You've heard it uh, from the man himself, uh, David Warner, the secretary of the All English Tipper Union. Uh, you know, a very well-known name in the Tipper world, and uh, it's been an honour, uh, you know, uh, uh, to come over here today and to meet meet the Warners. And uh, oh yeah, I f forgot to mention the little man, the little junior Warner. Not here today, is he? He's in Kent. He's in Kent. Oh, he's down south. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Right, brilliant. Thank he's, not, he's not a little, he's, uh, six, he's six foot something now. Oh, well, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, thank you very much indeed, Zavi, for having us, or having me today here. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, thank you for the birds. Uh, thank you to Gary Watson for the uh, pilots. And uh, thank you to you for uh, showing me around uh, your loft today and all the YouTubers and all the tip lovers out there. Right, so it's goodbye from me and uh, it's a goodbye from him. Definitely.